Hey now, I'm going to show you another profitable trading system that I call Rebound and Pivot. Then I'm going to test it 100 times in a row and review the results. Just make sure you crush that subscribe button like it owes you money right now. <laughs> Rebound and Pivot uses three indicators. The first indicator to place on your chart is the freely available Dynamic Structure Indicator by Zen and the Art of Trading. This indicator will be used to confirm entries and set our stop loss level. I'm going to leave all inputs at default. However, I'm going to change the setting style for R1, R2, S1, S2, PS1, PS2, PR1, PR2 from lines with breaks to circles so it is easier to see. The second indicator is the built-in trading view study exponential moving average. I'm going to set this EMA to the Fibonacci number of 55 and color it in orange. This indicator will act as our trigger, where price will rebound to and pivot from. The third and final indicator will be the good old 200 EMA colored in white. Once again, this will confirm trend direction. Now let's get to the charts. This chart is Euro versus the dollar. The rules for a long entry on rebound and pivot are, first, price closes above the 200 EMA. Second, price then comes above and then comes back in to the 55 EMA. Third, enter when the price rebounds and pivots off of the 55 EMA. All of that happens on this candle here. Wait for the close of the candle and that will be our trigger. We place our stop at the lowest support zone in green on the dynamic structure indicator. And we're going to target half of our position at one to one. When one to one is hit, we are going to move our stop to break even and target two to one for the rest of our position. And this one hits target two. We have one more long example. Price is above the 200 EMA. Price closes above and then comes back in to the 55 EMA. Price pivots and rebounds off of the 55 EMA and you wait for the close. This is our trigger. Place our stop at the lowest green circle and target 1 to 1 for the first half of our position. When 1 to 1 gets hit, we move our stop to break even and let the other half ride to 2 to 1. And the second half of this one stops out at break even. And now we flip the shorts. This is what I will test for shorts. First, price to be below the 200 EMA. Second, price to close above and then back in to the 55 EMA. That's the pivot and rebound. Third, price to close below the 55 EMA. This is our trigger candle. We place our stop at the red circle of the dynamic structure indicator and target one to one for half our position. When target one is hit, we move our stop to break even and target two to one for the remainder. And this one hits two to one. I'm going to show you one more short example. Again, we have price under the 200 EMA. Price then comes above and closes below the 55 EMA. This is our trigger candle. Place our stop at the top of the red box and target one to one. When one to one is hit, we move our stop to break even and let the rest either ride to two to one or stop out at break even. And this one hit two to one. Stick around to the end of this video where I give my thoughts on making the strategy better and give it a trader's landing score. And now it's time to do what I do. Remember, this is just 100 tests on one instrument. If you're thinking of using this system, please do all the required testing and be sure to let us know what you discover. Now let's review the test data and go over a couple of ideas on how to optimize this system. This test was done on the Euro versus the US dollar on the one hour time frame. It took 14 months to find our 100 setups. 71 hit target one, 44 hit target two, and 29 stopped out for a winning percentage of 71%. Gain on account, if you took all of those trades, would have been 50.5%. The equity curve here is quite impulsive with one extended period of consolidation. I'm going to give the pivot and rebound system a trader's landing score of 8 due to the huge potential for optimization using this system. So how do we find the crumbs to optimize and make this system better? I like using the dynamic structure indicator as a non-subjective stop loss level. So maybe instead of a 55 EMA as your trigger, you could use something like the SSL channel. 
For more information on that, be sure to check out this video where I test out a custom SSL channel. Second, a lot of the losses in a row happened when you would still be in a trade, so many of the losses would have been filtered out and the gains would have been much higher if those setups were not taken into account. But there were also a few winners where the same is true. So a general optimization in those cases is just to look for clear pullbacks, which I understand is subjective, but if you're honest with yourself or if you use the replay feature, you will see the positive results for yourself. Check out this playlist for more profitable systems. And have a great day if you want to.